I was uh, heading into the city like I had done for years uh, to celebrate the Passover. I didn't think this year would be any different. Uh, but, but when I got there, there were, there were so many people, just crowds of people, um, so many more than in years past. They were, they were yelling something I couldn't understand. Uh, I fought through the crowd to see what all the excitement was about. And I saw uh, there, there was a man who was, who was beaten so bad. He had a cross beam on his back. Just walking up the hill. Another crucifixion. These things were always terrible to watch. I couldn't figure out what was different about this one, though. Everyone seemed angrier. I asked the guy next to me, and he said that this man was claiming to be God or something. I don't know. I looked back, and the man continued coming up the hill. He was stumbling and falling. It was one of those things that he didn't want to watch, but you couldn't look away. As he got closer, one of the guards grabbed my arm out of nowhere and dragged me into the street. Everybody was staring at me. I didn't know what was going to happen. He pulled me over to the man and told me to help him carry his cross. If I would have gotten his blood on me, I would have been unclean. I wouldn't have been able to celebrate the Passover. That's the whole reason I was there. no saying no to the guards though. I got under the crossbeam and lifted what I could. It was so much heavier than I expected. I couldn't even look at him. Just hundreds of open wounds. He was covered in blood. We started walking a little further. He started to fall. My human reaction, I reached out and grabbed him. That's when he looked at me. I saw him through all the blood. He wasn't just a man. He, he wasn't some criminal. He was special. Was who he said he was, the Son of God. As we kept walking up the hill, I, I realized that it wasn't just the weight of the cross on his shoulders, but he, he had what well, looked like it was the weight of the world. We got to the top of the hill, and I didn't know what to do. I just stood there and watched. They, they laid him on the cross and they took these huge nails, put it through his hands and feet. And he hung there for hours. All of that weight on those nails, just heaving for any breath he could get. He, he didn't deserve this. He didn't do anything wrong. He wasn't a criminal. As I watched him, I realized that that whole time I thought I was helping him carry his cross. In reality, he was dying on mine.